In Jiu Jitsu we say if you have to learn the martial art, learn from the one who is small and skinny and not from the one who is big and muscular because the one who is not that physically gifted will understand the art in the sense of proper technique, proper skill and work their way up to the black belt. Well, the other person who is just physically very gifted and very strong might have just muscled their way through and just like that in any other thing you want to learn, learn from the one who were not supposed to do what they did. Learn from the ones who failed a lot of times while they were attempting to do it and finally did it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proudly saying that I failed in ISRO examination two times, learned a lot from it and in the third attempt, I got an All India rank of four. Today we are going to discuss for all you mechanical engineering guys, the syllabus of ISRO examination, what is the pattern of ISRO examination, what are the various subjects you need to focus more on, the study material, previous cutoffs, everything you need to know for ISRO examination everything you need to know to become an ISRO scientist. We'll start with the cutoff. Now about the cutoff, you need to know two things. Number one, it depends on the difficulty of the question paper. And number two, it depends on the number of seats available that year. If the difficulty increases, cutoff decreases. If the number of seats increases, cutoff decreases. Now, for example, in ISRO 2016 examination, the difficulty of the paper was average. In the like 2015 examination or 2014 examination, it was standard difficulty level of ISRO examination. The cutoff that year was only 100. Why? Because the number of seats were very high, somewhere near to 100. In next year, the difficulty level remained the same. In ISRO 2017 examination, the difficulty remained same, but the number of seats dropped to just 35 and because of that the cutoff increased to 139. In next examination in ISRO December 2017 examination the level of difficulty itself changed. The paper became much more difficult. A lot of new questions were added and because of that the cutoff dropped even though in both the ISRO 2017 April examination and December examination the number of seats were same somewhere near to 35. So the cutoff dropped to 120 marks. In ISRO uh, 2018 April examination the level of difficulty again changed and this year the number of seats were again same close to 35 or 40 but difficulty level again changed and the paper was very very easy because of that the cutoff increased astronomically and the cutoff that year was 185 right so the cutoff varies based on basically two things and this year we know about one thing that the number of seats is very very high 135 now how can we predict the cutoff and if you're sitting in the examination hall how can you know what the cutoff should be if you have gone through isro 2016 paper 15 paper and 14 paper they were a similar pattern if that pattern comes the cutoff will be somewhere around 100 again or might even go lower and might go somewhere on 90 because seat is the highest we have seen so far. If it is somewhere like ISRO December examination, very difficult paper, then the cutoff will go somewhere around like 80, 90 again, very, very low. Okay, difficult paper, but large number of seats. So obviously cutoff will drop a lot. If the paper is somewhere around April 2018 ISRO examination, very easy paper and the seats are very high, then the cutoff will go somewhere around 150. So you can make a prediction that it will be something like that. The cutoff will be somewhere in this range, but you cannot say anything until you see the paper and uh, you do not know about the competition. So keep this one thing in your head that you have to give your best in your examination. Do not think that paper is very easy. You cannot think about anything. If you underestimate the competition, you lose this examination. Okay, so that's about the cutoff. Next, we are going to go to the subjects. I'm going to tell you what subjects are more important, what subjects are less important because mechanical engineer, as a mechanical engineer, I can tell you about that thing. So obviously, I've noted it down because there are 12 subjects I can, and I've made proper list like which subject is most important, then lesser important and then least important. And whatever I'm saying is according to the priority. In the most important also, I'm going to say, talk about eight subjects over here. Whichever subject I say first, is the most important subject. By the way, the first three subjects are very, very important and then the priority will decrease as I go along. And then I'm going to come to less important subject and in that also the priority will decrease to the next subject, to the next subject. So I have the full list over here. Okay, important subjects. Strength of material, fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, heat transfer, production, theory of machine, 
maths and mechanics now mechanics becomes very very important now none of these subjects can be skipped you can ex expect at least three to four questions from each of these subjects they will form the majority of the question paper and there will if you are very good with these subjects it will boost your confidence during the examination that you are able to solve majority of the questions very easily so definitely be very very strong with these subjects next coming to the less important subjects now these subjects cannot be left but yes you will be expecting somewhere around one to two questions or maybe no question asked from this subject on an average what we can say after analyzing 18 isro previous year question papers okay but as i have said before isro examination is uncertain and definitely you should be ready for everything but if you are making a strategy for an examination it depends on probability and by looking at the past we can judge that this is the most frequently pattern that we are getting this is what we need to be most ready for then we'll prepare for the worst case scenarios okay so less important subjects uh, hydraulic machines machine design industrial compressible flow and material science now you have to be very good with compressible flow now i understand that there is very less source for compressible flow and i'm going to talk about where you can study it from and i will be talking about study material but yes keep this in your mind compressible flow is not in engineering services it is not in gate but it is in isro examination they focus on it you'll see every year three to four questions or sometimes even one or two questions but the questions will be there okay so be ready with that now least important subjects are the ones you'll be covering at the end and you might see that there is no question from these subjects that is very very possible until now whatever question papers i've seen there were no questions from these subjects so keep it in mind understand what you do not need to study also as much as you should understand what you do need to study power plant engineering ic rac now rac will be important for b006 rac paper but not for the mechanical paper so it is not important just have a brief idea about it because if if something happens unexpected but in general these three subjects are not important now aptitude and english you should be knowing that they do not come in this examination so that's about the subjects now what kind of questions are asked in isro examination isro examination questions are a mixture of gate examination type questions and engineering examination type questions mixed it is a mixture so you have to be prepared for both i would say that on an average 60 percent of the question is asked which are similar to gate like in the pattern not obviously picking gate questions and putting it over there and isro engineering services and putting it directly but at the same pattern like gate questions will be very very conceptual and engineering services question you'll need a lot of speed you'll have to remember the formula and solve it fast right so both are the types of questions that are asked and there is variation in the percentage in 2017 examination lot of questions coming like gate examination in 18 examination lot of questions coming which are of engineering services pattern so you have to be ready for both you do not know the mixture ratio so obviously you have to be ready for both how to be ready for both i will tell you now coming to the study material one thing before getting into study material that preparation for engineering services pre-examination will help you a lot in ISRO examination for mainly two reasons because both engineering services pre-examination and ISRO examination are offline and you have to fill the OMR over there so that will itself give you a little bit of practice second part is that ESE paper prelims examination will not allow calculator and all its previous year question will be for people who should be solving it without calculator so you should be good with those kind of questions because in isro examination also you will not be getting a calculator now moving to the study material the best resource for isro examination is obviously isro previous year questions buy that question bank made easy makes it just buy it and start solving it year wise it is year wise so you'll have to be done with the syllabus first and then you can start solving it now that is the best resource next the second best resource which saved my life and made me crack my examination this is the only thing that i did different in my third attempt of isro examination and that is sk mandal question bank i'm saying it clearly and the best part of this question bank is that it is free if you do not utilize it i do not know what you are doing why it is very helpful i have the theory for that too that if you print it out and you solve it over there itself it is going to give you again solving in a hard copy format number two 
it is uh, going to give you the compilation of all the previous year questions good previous year questions gate psu engineering services and whatever examination even civil services okay you are getting a compilation and i believe and so so did sk mandal sir said when i was in coaching institute that you should be only focusing much more and more on previous year questions solving it as much as possible because that has appeared in some examination before and that is definitely going to give you the practice that is required also very important about that question bank is that before it gives the compilation of the questions of previous year of various examination it is going to give you in bullet points all the important points about that chapter and that is there's always something new to learn from that there's always something new that is very important for any competitive examination so at least for the major subjects production it is up to date strength of material it is up to date fm thermo heat transfer it is not up to date but still you should be solving especially for the theory part and even theory of machine you should be solving it i solved it because it gave me the practice it gave me those small theory parts that is very important for objective type examination will save two or three questions of yours so definitely solve as much as possible go according to priority i only had two months before my isro april 2018 examination when i found out that yes everything that i'm lacking is in this question bank i need to start solving but time is limited so build a priority first strength of material then thermodynamics then fluid mechanics and then heat transfer then theory of machine if you have time if you have time and for people who are repeater have already completed syllabus before start right now start all these resources isro previous year question sk mandal sir's previous year question engineering services previous year questions like question bank you must already be having start solving all the star mark question because those questions are expected to be solved without calculator you have to be good at that start solving all of them gate previous year questions because some of the questions in isro examination will be conceptual close to gate examination you have to be ready for that you have to score marks in that too the competition is very tough and i'm saying you will not get a better chance to get into isro than this one we have never seen this much amount of seats before so definitely do everything that is possible for pe for people who are not done with syllabus start solving these questions from december one month before the examination and people who are already done with their syllabus even 90 percent of the syllabus start solving these study material you do not need anything else for three attempts i did not do anything else other than solving previous year questions it is sufficient just that your time might not be sufficient the amount of resource that i told you guys your time might not be sufficient you have to prioritize but just keep on doing it keep on running your hands and solve questions all day because you have to be good at mind calculation you have to be good at accuracy in isro examination you will not get time to revise any question there's very limited amount of time one question one minute and rest of the time that is saved you have to fill the bubbles and all you have to be very good at doing questions correctly at one go and this is what you have to be good while you're practicing whatever you're solving you have to be correct solve every question like that that i have to be correct i've made a very good video on how to increase speed and accuracy very few people have gone through it but it is a gold mine please go through it it will guide you properly what i did differently to increase my speed and accuracy because I was not naturally good at solving numericals very fast. I was not naturally good at accuracy, at speed. I was very terrible when it comes to all those things. I used to make a lot of silly mistakes. And I found out that for people like us, there's only one way out, that is practice. Practice as much as possible. And what you need to practice, I just told you guys in this part, in study material. I hope everything is clear. If you have any more questions, comment it down below. So let's summarize what are the basic important things number one always expect the unexpected isro examination is very unpredictable don't have any preconceived notion be ready for everything whatever i said in this video do follow that number two you should be practicing in hard copy because that is something that you have to be doing on the examination day number three make exam focus notes follow my video on short notes because a lot of questions in isro examination get repeated from the previous year questions so definitely be ready for that that can save two to three questions of yours and last but definitely not the least be very good at speed accuracy and mind calculation it is very very important in this examination that is something that differentiates you from the competition this is very important for isro examination i cannot emphasize it enough 
enough so i hope all your doubts are clear but i'm sure some of you guys still might be having a doubt in their head please comment it down below and i'll answer it over there and for others i've made a playlist on my channel youtube dot 4712 and the playlist name is just isro you can find out all the videos regarding isro preparation strategy in that playlist and you'll be getting much more information if you keep on going through other videos that i'm posting i'll keep on posting more videos on isro a lot of things are coming up so definitely follow them and any questions you have again comment it down in the description box that's about it and one more thing if you want to improve your personality, if you want to improve your spoken English, you see what I'm doing right now, it helps a lot in interviews and it cannot be done in just one or two months. So if you have to keep on increasing your spoken English or personality from right now, then follow my second YouTube channel. Its name is Ashish Ranjan and over there I talk about personality development, spoken English and all those good stuff. That's about it. I'll see all of you in the next one. Till then, bye.